Hello, this is Ron Clark. Today's the final video in this series on working the gates, permuting the tree, if you will. Today it's uh, about a type of gate that I don't believe I've ever written about or spoken about much at all. Um, I call them the unicursal gates. Um, they are pentagrams and hexagrams, a unicursal hexagram. Um, in the Hebrew tree, there's a lot of unicursal gates, but in the Gra tree, there are only three of them. There are two pentagrams and one hexagram. I'll be doing the hexagram today. So the pentagrams focus on two of the mother letter paths, Shin and Mem. The first pentagram is, let's see, it goes this way, from Hokma to Hod to Kether to Netzach to Bina and back to Hokma. Um, so, four hidden paths and one mother letter path, the path of Shin. The other uh, pentagram is the exact uh, inverse of that one. It goes from, let's see, it goes, okay, it goes from Hokma, no, excuse me, Bina to Malkuth to Hokma to Hod to Netzach back to Bina. Um, and this one highlights the path of Mem. Now, the pentagrams, uh, all the unicursal gates are, uh, my best description is a wild ride, um, because they go from extremes. They go from one end, of, from the top of the tree to the bottom of the tree and back and forth and back and forth, um, especially the, the hexagram. But the pentagrams, I really don't know how to describe them. They're a unique experience that have mostly to do with karma, I think, um, and one's relationship to karma. Now, the hexagram is a heck of a gate. Um, it goes from Bina to Malkuth, from Malkuth to Hokma, from Hokma to Hod to Kether, down to Netzach, and back to Bina. So it goes from top to bottom to top to bottom to top to bottom to top. And how to describe this? other than it's a wild ride. Because it really, it's going from one extreme of awareness to the other extreme of awareness, back and forth. So it's really about integrating the, the polar opposites of awareness, Malkuth and Kether, essentially, the supernal realm with the, um, Alma, infernal is not quite the right word, but supernal to the inferior. Um, as in lower, upper to lower to upper to lower. Um, it really stretches the awareness um, and integrates these uh, otherwise disparate parts of awareness. So it's very integrative. Um, yeah, that's probably the, the, the most I can say about it. It's about integrating self, these levels of self. Okay, um, so we start, as always, by um, igniting the Sephiroth with energy and then transferring awareness to the beginning Sephiroth. So, we will go ahead here. And we charge Bina. We charge Malkuth. We charge Hokma. We charge Hod. We 
recharge Kether. Oh, recharge Netsa. Okay, so the middle of the tree has not been charged at all. And it really remains dormant when I charge this unicursal hexagram. Um, and that's odd, because usually the centers charge as well when I charge the exterior of a gate. But this is different. This is using only the hidden paths, and that changes the dynamics considerably. Um, even the regular gates that are made up of all hidden paths are different. Uh, you know, they're, they're very different. <laughs> um, so here, we're dealing with the top and the bottom of the tree exclusively. But, one thing, important thing to notice, it crosses the Aleph Resh crossing via the hidden paths. It doesn't touch Aleph Resh itself, but it crosses there. This is indeed the center of the tree, um, but we're seeing a different aspect of that center by the hidden paths instead of the letter paths. Okay, so we're nicely charged up there, and I shift my awareness to Bina. Oh, Bina. Ooh, primal form. Every form has a meaning. All meanings have form here in Bina. Oh, the mother of form. The mother of the universe, the universe of form, of time and space. This is the mother. Oh, we give birth to all of creation. We give birth to all of creation. Here in Vina, the mother. I look down towards Malku, so far away, the culmination of my creative efforts, and I descend as my greater self to Malku. Oh, so far away, and my forms become de denser and more and more solid until here in Malku. I am in this solid, this solid world, this solid universe of all my forms, all my forms together here in Bina and in Malkuth. Oh, and I stand here as my greater self in Malkuth, inside of little Ron. I work through Ron as my greater self. All of my works are through Ron here in my material world that I have created. I stand within this world as Ron. As Ron, I embody my greater self here in Malkuth, in this world, I am my greater self here in Malkuth. Oh, and I reach up to Chokma, oh, that beacon of light, Chokma, oh, where all essential meaning drips down into Malkuth from Chokma. And I stand in Chokma as a central meaning as I drip down into Malkuth where it becomes solid form. Ah, my central meaning communicates 
through Malkuth. It expresses through Malkuth. Ah, oh, here, the central meaning. All things are known. All things are known. Ah, and I look down to Hod, to Hod, and I rush to Hod. Oh, my meaning slips down into Hod so smoothly. Ah, and here I am at the center point of everything. Ah, oh, this moment of calm where I'm frozen in time and space. It all stands still right here at the center point. Ah, oh, and I continue down to Hod. Oh, I slip through Hod like greased lightning. I am entering Hod, oh, and I enter into this critical, rational mind of mine here in Hod, illumined by Hogma. Oh, the bright light of essential meaning. Oh, it makes everything brilliantly lit here in Hod. Oh, beautiful. Hod, illuminated with essential meaning, with knowing, oh, with wisdom. Here in Hod, it all makes sense. It all fits. Oh, it's all so pass up together, oh, up together, up together, the one self, oh, I am one self, I am the I, in all places, I am the I, in Hog, in Hogma, in Malkuth, in Bina, I am the I, always the I. Fill all of these places with my wholeness. I am the I in gather and I descend. Oh, I descend in that sort. yourself and here I am again at the center of all all afresh Ooh, the crossing of these hidden paths oh, is stand still between my greater self and my net sock. I am here. And I continue up to Bina. Ah, and I am again in Bina. All form. Ah, the mother of the universe. Ah, the mother of my net sock.
pass through the center point of all things, down into Netzar. Then I bring my greater self, I touch my Netzar with my greater self, always feeling as my greater self, my greater self resonates with all things I encounter. My greater self resonates. And I rise again together. The I, I am liberated from all things of feeling, and I am. exist in everything. I am the eye. And I descend down to hold. I am again in a hold illuminating all of my thinking. I fill my thinking with the eye. Fill my thinking with essential meaning, and I rise to essential meaning, the meaning that fills all things below, and I descend into Malkuth. Sorry, I couldn't put large parts of that into words for you. <clears throat> so, and again, working the universal paths is only for someone who is familiar with working gates. Um, you have to have worked a number of gates before you ever attempt one of the universal gates. And that brings to a conclusion my, um, my introduction to working gates. I, I hope you will, from this, 
be inspired, more inspired, to actually work the gates and um, learn from them and benefit from them, as I have. Um, yeah. Good luck. And my best to you. That's the end of this series. Bye-bye. <laughs>
laws like the laws of physics, basically, um, that rule how things exist. So, I wish you well in working the gates. Um, like I said, this is the last video in this series, as far as I know, at the moment. That's part of what I want to discuss with you, is I don't know what to do next. I feel like I've exhausted all of the works that I've done, and um, yeah, I don't know where to go, what to do videos about. So if you have any suggestions, please, please let me know. Either leave a comment down below the video or contact me on Facebook, whatever. Um, but if you have any ideas, let me know because as far as I know now, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> One year of making videos was all I could manage and I'm plumb out of stuff to do. So, cheerio. Bye-bye.